how to modify a tone layer in Clip Studio Paint. To add, go to Layer and New Layer and Tone. To change the type, go to Noise, Circle, Square, Lozenge, Line, etc. I'm using Noise. You can modify the density, make it less dense, enter 10 or more dense at 90, or go for half and half, 50. You can change the angle, go to 2 or 180 or 50. You can also change the size, maybe go for very intense noise, more like a standard noise, or go for a thousand to get these very big structures that you can modify in more ways using factor. So enter two and you get more sort of proportional noise, or go for 60 to stretch it out. Even more useful when you've got the angle, so you can modify the angle. And you can also use these sliders, so you can move it around like that. Click OK once you're happy with the noise effect. Go to the layer panel and you'll notice there you've got a thumbnail indicating that it's a tone. You've also got layer property. You can find that in window menu and down to layer and layer property as well as tool property and tool. Select tone here and you've got options here. You've got image, image and mask image. I'm just going with image. Use specify density. I'm just going to go with that. And also, you can change the noise if you want. You don't have to keep it as noise. You can go with circle, square, etc. And you can still continue to modify the angle as well as noise size, reduce it down, or increase the noise factor to stretch it. You can also modify the position using the X value as well as Y value to go vertically. You can also go to tool property with the tool selected, the move tool. Go here, move layer. And you can select this option. This option is the tone option, so you can select that, and then you can just simply move this. You can reposition the tone using that. If you want to change the color, just go here, this option. Click here and layer color. Select that, and instead of this color, black, you will go with blue. Click OK, and as soon as you change it, you've got blue there. You can always go back here again, layer color and green and click OK. You can turn it into a normal layer by going to layer and down to rasterize. You can also use merge, so merge with layer below. I'm using that option. As soon as you've done that, you'll notice now you've got a standard raster layer with the original image and also your tone. Just go over here to Layer Property, select Tone, and then you can see you've got Frequency, so you can decrease that or increase that. You can also change Use Color of Image or Use Brightness of Image. You can also use Circle, Square, as well as Noise again. Click there, and then modify the Angle, as well as Noise Size, so increase it, and Noise Factor. And you can modify the Dot Position and Y. You can also change the layer color, click there, and you can see layer color, and modify that, maybe make that amber, and click OK. With a raster layer, you can now apply effects to your tone. Go to Filter, and Blur, and Gaussian Blur, and increase the strength, and click OK. You can also modify it using Filter, Distort, and Wave, and again, click OK. With one tone layer, you can also make another tone layer. So layer, and new layer, and tone. Again, modify the settings, make it say this time 20, change the angle to 50, and click OK. And you can see now you've got two tone designs. You can merge them together. Go to layer menu and merge visible layers. And they all become one raster design. With two or more tone layers, you can go over here to the layers panel and go to one of the tone layers, go to the blending modes, and instead of normal, go with lighten, as well as difference, and so on, to create all number of combinations. As before, you can go to layer and merge visible layers. Turn it all into one standard raster layer, and then apply effects. 
such as filter and blur and Gaussian blur. Click OK. If you've opened an image, you can also turn that into a tone design. Go to Layer Property and click Tone. Make sure you click that. You can then modify the density, frequency, as well as angle and dot settings. I'm going to go with noise again. So noise, set the angle, change the noise size. You can see more or less of the image as well as change the noise factor as well as the dot position. And also, again, go over here to the layer and change the color. You can also use tone with gradients. Go to layer and new layer and gradient. Create a gradient layer. You can see here a gradient layer. Go to layer property and select tone. Click there and you can now see you've got your tone using circle in this case. But again, go to noise, change the angle, change the noise size as well as noise factor. You can also go over to the layer panel and click and change the color of the layer. As the layer is not a tone layer, it's a gradient layer, but with a tone, you can modify the gradient layer. Just go to tool property and then go over here. Click there and you can bring up all of the gradients. Now I'm just going to go with rainbow, change that. So select that, double click it and then click OK. And you can see now you've got a different tone design. With the gradient layer, you can also change the shape. So you can go for circle as well as ellipse. You can also change the size as well as the edge process for the gradient. So a variety of different tone designs can be created. And again, you can change the blending mode and opacity. You'll notice here you've got blue and white. If you go to the layer property, you've got layer color as well as sub color as well as, of course, the transparency. What you can do, sub color, change that from white to red and click OK. And you can see the design. If you wish to move this tone design, just go over here to the tools panel and select the move tool. Go to the tool property, make certain that it's the tone option selected, and then you can move it and reposition it. You can also go to layer, and you can duplicate layer. So duplicate layer. So now you've got two gradients with tones. You've got this option selected, the tone. You can then reposition this and you can see what happens. You end up with a slightly different design using that. Also what's available, layer property. Go to layer property and you can change the angle. So just rotate it around. And now you can see you've got this combination of the angle as well as the noise factor, which can be modified. And as it's a layer, you can go to layer and you can go down here and select darken as well as linear burn and difference. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. I will be doing new tutorials about this tone as well as gradients combinations in the future. Thank you much.